All right, people, welcome back. Daily Duels. So, uh, you know, Teller Knights, it's been on here for a cool minute, but the version that we've been running on Te or Teller Knights is just like kind of a little fun deck that I've been uh, using lately. So uh, I decided to maybe try a more competitive version of the deck, you know, see what the competitive circuit is doing with it. It looks super inconsistent, but, you know, apparently it's working, so I took a lot of tips. I watched, you know, a couple of YouTube videos and stuff like that, so, you know, hopefully it will work out fine, but, you know, my fun little Teller Knight deck, I, I mean, I was having a ton of fun with that deck, so, you know, I totally don't mind just trying out something, you know, it's supposed to be, it's supposed to, the thing is, it's supposed to be in the Dirty Dan lineup, you know, the Dirty Dan lineup is the weekdays, you know, not including Monday because I carved the day ahead, so, you know, uh, you know, it's supposed to be, uh, you know, the weekdays, so it's supposed to be Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, which are Satella Knights, Kleeput, Burning Abyss, and Shadol. So the top four decks right there. And it's supposed to be Dirty Dan, except for, of course, uh, it has not been uh, Dirty Dan for Teller Knights just because I've been using, you know, kind of fun deck. All right. So I'll bridge it up. I didn't want you to destroy my Call of the Haunted, but I guess I'll bridge it up. I didn't know you were going to, you know, get double MST. Yeah. And then someone commented and they, they, they went on a big old spiel about Skybird. So I was like, you know what? I'll try it out. I'll try it out. Alencio ran it and they're like, you know what? Let me try it out. So right there, that wasn't terrible, you know? I didn't get a Deneb. Now I have a Deneb and I got to search for the Altair with the Deneb that I just freaking transferred. So... Totally not a bad play, I must say. No, I totally don't mind that. Oh, okay. Are you just gonna XC? Oh, you're gonna bounce me back. Okay. So you have to have another Hermit Yoka in the field to do that, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, pretty much the competitive version of the deck just runs triple of a whole bunch of just face up, you know, continuous traps just so you can go in the triv and then bounce everything back. Alright. So, you burn through a lot of resources. Alright, he's gonna go back. The only problem with him just continuously spinning back my damn Deneb is that I never get it in the graveyard for, uh, for, uh, or for, uh, Altair. But the problem is that if he keeps spinning back my Deneb, I keep searching. So, you know, <laughs> he has to kind of decide what he wants to do here. I mean, he kind of just threw them double MSTs at me, you know. I've also been kind of falling out of favor with MST, the whole blind spacing thing, but you know, from, from the non-competitive side of it, you know? From the competitive side, I mean, definitely, you gotta run triple MST. I mean, come on, Vanities is being a fucking just a son of a bitch this format, so you definitely gotta do that. Oh. Alright, so he clearly top-decked into the uh, Kamani Tachi, so. No. I just want to see where Teller Knights stand competitive-wise, because clearly the other three decks, you know, are just so tippity-top, tippity-top that, you know, definitely... Alright, I knew you were going to get that. Well, I'm going to MST it during the end phase anyway, so you're not going to have that. Go ahead, set it. Set it. Set it. Alright, so now you're going to put that pendulum scale. So I don't like the pendulum version of it. I just don't get the point of pendulum summoning in this deck. So you pretty much so you did top deck into that. Now I gotta figure out how to deal with him. It's Rhoda. What do I got in here that can deal with that guy? touching me every single turn. Nothing. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. So he can just keep touching me. I don't like that. No? I thought the deck is lo it was looking kind of inconsistent, but right now my hand is full of fucking uh, Telenites. You know, I wish I had the Neb in the graveyard. 
You know, anything that I see into, he can easily just spin back. So what do you do? Why should you control or destroy them when you can destroy this card instead? Alright. So, I'm just gonna summon Vega. No? I'm actually kind of liking the Nova a little bit more than even, uh... Than even the Nuclear High, but, you know, I see the point in running the Nuclear High. I wish Vega could touch itself, but of course it can't, so... Give me the other Vega. Clearly up on resources. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, one, two, three, four. I'm clearly up. So I'm gonna second thought I'd be one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. I searched one, two, and two too many actually. So is there any reason to go into anything? No, he might have it just because these two. Summon, summon, spin back, you know. And then he's gonna get his fucking uh another secret technique search off next turn. Yeah, I didn't ever. If I got a Fiendish Chain, maybe I'd be able to do something, but I didn't. We, of course, run Triple Fiendish Chain in the stack, because I can always return it back to tri with Triv and then reset it again, but. Yeah, he might have this. There's not much I can do. You know, we don't run all that extra cutesy shit that I like to run in my deck, like, you know, Kage's and shit like that, to make sure you get off the fucking, uh, you know, the guys who I would definitely want being fucking, you know. You know, Triv, or, or in this case, Deltaros. No, we don't run that cutesy shit. Yeah, I think I might lose this. And I can clearly tell... You know, if only he killed my Deneb. He never killed my Deneb. That's the problem. I'm run out of resources here. So, do that. Do, 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 do whatever. Go like, see you into whatever. Then he can just simply just summon, summon, spin me back. Attack, search, attack. Set the trap. And as soon as I fucking play anything, he can just fucking negate me. So, yeah, he has this. So we're just gonna get another Dolan. Bear back. All right, let's try this again. Like I said, that 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 this card actually really helped me. So I really can't say anything about that. That was not the problem at all. Yeah, at all. That card was clearly very helpful. You know, I can see it now. I can see it now. You know, it searches you a Deneb when you didn't have a Deneb in the first place. So, yeah. Just the problem is that he never killed my Deneb, and clearly, in Telenite, you need to kill my Deneb. Like, there's no if, m, buts about it. I need my Deneb murdered. <laughs> I need my Deneb in the grave for Altair. If I had Deneb in the grave, we could have done something, you know? You need to get that Deneb in the grave. Deneb needs to be in the grave. You know? And this is the part where I'm not gonna like the, the thing, but I guess I could just hot bat a back row's way with it, because it's a quick play spell, like, you know? Am I gonna use it to, uh, you know, hop out of the way with Deneb and shuffle Deneb back into the deck and summon something else? No, definitely not. No. So don't use it on Deneb. You can use it on other things, but not Deneb, because I don't want Deneb in the deck. I want it in the graveyard. <laughs> so I can go Vega, Altair, Deneb, Deneb, Search, XC, you know? So if you want to summon something and run over my Deneb, then yes, go ahead and do it. So, this card's interesting. Interesting. I'll give it that. You know, I could turn any Telonite monster, so if I don't open up with Deneb, I could turn any Telonite monster into Deneb. I like that. Oh. Oh, Knights. This card is clever on your guitar here. Okay, you can talk about no one on your very agile. Yeah? Yeah? <laughs> I, I haven't really seen this Noble Knight guy, so... I'm not sure if I was expecting too much out of him. Yeah. Like I said, this deck runs a lot of traps. A lot of traps. Very little monsters. I think I'm running like 10 monsters. Yeah, I think I'm running uh, 3 Altair, 3 Deneb, 2 Vega, and 2 uh, Unuka High. That's it. You know, I was debating on the Sham, and I'm just like, I'm not really convinced by Sham yet, you know. I need to play test Sham a little bit, and I just like, yeah. So, yeah, ten monsters, that's it. And clearly I got a whole bunch of them. <laughs> you know, because they touch each other, so, you know. That's not like you can, you really have to, like, blast through a whole bunch of monsters. You know, it's kind of like a, a nice classic one-up deck. You know, it's, it reminds me a little bit of, like, Heroes back in their prime. You know, before they turned to Master, I was simply just, you know, uh... You know, simply just, uh, heroes, little monster count, 
ton of background because this deck has a lot of background. You know, it has vanities, triple vanities, triple call, triple, of course, Nova, uh, triple, uh, alright. It's a quick face of a monster to be destroyed. Once per turn, an equipped monster cannot be destroyed by battle or by card effects. Alright. That was really anticlimactic. So Triv, what do you, Triv, what do you summon? So I'm going to tell him I'm going to in your graveyard and summon that target. Alright, well, we could go for Triv right now. And then pick something out. Is that really necessary, though? Deltaros can't really do shit, because, you know, if I destroy the Destiny, he could just re-equip it, and if I destroy, uh, you know, the... I can't destroy his monster. Right? Once returned equipped monster cannot be destroyed without a card attack. So I can summon Deltaros and then pop and then run him over. I could do that. Yeah, that might be best. Because Trib's not really necessary right now. Yeah, we'll go ahead and do that. No. We'll go Vega. Vega summon Altair. So I'm trying to be Dirty Dan with this deck, but no. All right, now I'm kind of feeling my fun little Teller Knight deck a little bit more. I am, I am liking this though. I am kind of liking the Sky Bridge. I, I can kind of, I can see where that's coming from. Yeah, being able to just turn any Teller Knight monster into another Teller Knight monster from your deck by shuffling the other one. In, you know, I can like summon. I be like, oh, I didn't get shit. Summon a Nikola High. Nikola High turned into Altair. Altair summoned the Ned. Sure, you know. So the only problem is that uh, you know, as long as that Teller Knight monster remains on the field, I can't do. I haven't got any Novas either. Where's my Novas? Deltaros. Kind of like Deltaros a little bit more than Triv, but Triv is the one that made this deck, you know, more high tier. Okay, of course, once you can't be destroyed, but you can always be ran over, and of course, unless you got Honest, in which case, hey, you got Honest, I can't. Yep. So, that goes back. But hey, I got Adulteros. <sighs> right. You know, I got Fiendish Chain. I got Sky Bridge. I got the MST. And I said, I'm not really a big fan of the main deck MST. But this is, like I said, this is, this is trying to be a competitive Teller Knight deck. So, yeah. I haven't got any pots. This deck runs two pots. Triple up start. No. Probably just do a deck profile of the deck and go over it, and you guys can have maybe help me at the end of the video. Yeah, we might do that. Maybe. So, what are you going to do, Mr. Noble Knight guy? Never been a big fan of Noble Knight, still don't like the deck. <laughs> Didn't I beat a Noble Knight deck with my, uh, with my fun version? I did. I did. Yep, there's... So, it's the time for the Madrop combo? No. You can summon Gawain. I don't care about that. I said all you need is one Madrop and then the Noble Arm, so he could literally have the combo right now. I mean, of course, if I didn't have Fiendish Chain. No, he's just gonna XE. Alright, what do you do? So in this case, I mean, you can target up to three noble arms, equips with different names in your graveyard, but you don't have any. Once per turn, you can touch on C material, then target, any, destroy any number. Of... Okay, that's fine. I don't get what he's about to do. I'll wait for you to extend a little bit before I respond to your play. Alright, there's Destiny. I don't care about Destiny. Galatin, I don't give a shit about him either. Ooh, just get chained up. Like, how about no? <laughs> no. You know, if he really could the Excalibur, I was going to MS to the Excalibur, then it wouldn't get re-equipped, because, you know, the targeting thing. Yeah. So, that play was kind of cute. 
It wasn't terrible. I'll give you that. Triv is like the only deck that fucking, uh, Triv, this is the only deck that Triv doesn't really work against. No, well, there's your decky. Well, might as well throw it at him. I'm, I'm sitting okay right now. But then I would destroy the monster. And I would lose my fiendish chain. I wonder if it's better to just go into a Triv. But then I would lose my Deltaros. He would get his noble arms back. But at least I get my fiendish chain back. I'll get my Deltaros back to the extra deck. Yeah, you know, it's not a terrible play. Yeah. We'll go ahead and do that. Let's try it. Summon you, yes, yeah, summon you. They only played two Vega. Not sure how I feel about that, especially with no other, uh, you know, Tell Knight cards. I could just go for another Delta Rouse, actually, and then destroy him, and then destroy him again. That might be best. Hmm. Two Delta Rouse? But then I would lose my Fiendish Chain. I want my Fiendish Chain back. Alright. Fine, we'll go into Trev. Trev, go ahead and... Pick something out of his hand. All right. Now with your, you know, with your fiendish chains and your call of the haunted, going into trips not bad because you of course get the card back. You now reminds me of the good old days with uh, Pleiades. So. If you try to be cute again, I don't know why you didn't just go for your uh, Noble Knight play. You had the, the Madrat, and you had a uh, quick... I don't, I don't know why you didn't do that. Maybe it's because you're running shit like this. I don't like this card. Still don't like this card. So what do you have? Four? To say Noble Knight or Noble Arm card? Noble Knight cards. So he has three right now. So he can send a noble knight card from Decker. So, yeah. He has three, so. He can send. During his end phase, he can send a noble knight card. Woo! <laughs> like, and? <laughs> like, I don't give a shit about that. You know, that guy who commented on on this card's video, I might have to, like, study up. Because he, he gave me, like, a big old list of freaking uh, things to do with this card and why it's pretty good. So I need to freaking, I need to make sure that I fucking look at that again. Okay, I don't know what she's going to do. You don't even have a normal monster. Yep, I knew you were just going to scoop it up. You have nothing. You have nothing. All right, you know what? Yeah, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and do the deck profile on this side. And you guys can go ahead and help me and and figure out what I want to do with this. But like I said, this is a competitive version. This isn't my fun little one that I'm going to be making in real life as my little fun deck. So, yeah. So, uh, be right back. All right, so here is the deck. Like I said, I'm not a big fan of it, but I wanted to go ahead and test it out. So, 
Of course, we have a uh, triple Altair, that's a given. Triple Deneb, that's a given. Only two Vega. Uh, I was looking at every single competitive deck, they were going with two Vega, but you no, know, sometimes Vega seems like a, such a great combo piece that you could run it at three, but maybe it's Quaggy. I don't know. I I like Vega, so I would, I'm probably going to run it at three. Vega is putting in that work, so. And then two at Nuclear High. I can understand two at Nuclear High, you know, especially when you're running cards like Pot and Upstart and, you know, this card, which is actually, you know, it worked out. It helped me, you know. When I didn't get the Deneb, it got me the Deneb, you know? It's a searchable, it's, it tags out one of my Telenites for Deneb, you know? So instead of go, sitting there with the, uh, Altair on my field and just be like, I, I, I can't do anything. I just be like, all right, Altair, go back. So I'm a Deneb. Deneb searched me for the Altair, and there we go. Now I'm set up. So I actually like this card, you know? I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see it a little bit more, you know? I'm going to see a little bit more. Maybe we can do something with it. I don't know. All right. All right. Uh... But yeah, only two in Nuclear High. I understand that. Triple Rota, that's a given. Triple MST. Competitive-wise, that makes sense, you know? Roguelike, uh, I don't like blind spacing as much as I, you know, used to. So, you know, uh, you know, if I'm going against something that's not competitive. I mean, competitive circuit? Hell yeah, you know? There's fucking, uh, you know, Vanity, Skill Drain, fucking Snap Steel, fucking Scout. There's so many things that need to be MST that I totally understand why Triple MST. I get that. Then the fucking trio, you know, I actually sat down and I thought about it. I was like, you remember back in the old days when the trio was Heavy Storm, Dark Cold, Monster Reborn? Here's the trio. Soul Charge, Monster Reborn, Regeki, Dark Hole, and then that card that fucking pisses you off and can easily steal the game as an AKA Heavy Storm, Snatch Steel. So there you go. There's the trio again, just the new trio, you <laughs> know, the new trio, I'm like, you know, I might ask Mega Capital G if I could do a video on his channel and discuss the tri the new trio, you know? Because I remember every day, you know, Dark Hole, Heavy Storm, Monster Reborn, now, Soul Charge, Snatch Steel, Regaki, you know? And totally, I understand it. I well, not every deck with Soul Charge, but, you know, you get the point. Not every deck would run uh, Monster Reborn, you know? If Monster Reborn was, un was unbanned and Soul Charge never existed, would Kleeplets run Monster Reborn? I doubt it, you know? So, you know, you get my point, you know? Uh, seen plenty of decks, they ran two pots, two pots, two pots, you know, you don't special summon, uh, during your first turn every turn, you know, sometimes it's simple, just simply just summon the neb and search, so pot, search for some more, you know, get to your, uh, uh, your alpha nova, you, you know, your starlight nova alpha quicker, but, uh, of course I didn't see that in the two duels that we did, so I understand that, um, this, uh, I think Olympio did this, and I was like, you know what, fine, I'll try it out. That guy was preaching about how great this card is, so, you know, and I guess I never give this card the time of day, so let me go ahead and try it out, you know. So, there you go, uh, Starcross, I mean, I mean Stellar Knight, Skybridge. It worked out well. It helped me out, you know. It helped me out to dodge out of back, a way to dodge out of back row, because it's a quick play, and helped me with the consistency, so I get that. And then Triple Upstart, because, I guess, Turbo. I don't know, consistency. I've seen plenty of decks that got like first place in YCSs and shit like that in the past run triple upstart. And I was like, okay, well, I guess they're doing it. Let me try it. You know, I'm not a big fan of upstart. I'd rather run more back row. You know, I kind of felt like, yes, the Phoenix Chains were nice, but I could have probably switched these out for more, but it's like breakthrough skill, you know, more back row, more hate, you know, hate, 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 you know, because that seems like that's the way that this deck is going to, you know, compete with, you know, uh, clay put and well not really clay put but uh, maybe you know being able to complete with uh, compete with um, with uh, Shadals and burning abyss is hate you need hate you know so uh, I need to get dirty Dan with this deck you know if it's gonna be on the dirty Dan competitive lineup it needs to become dirty and you know my fun little deck where while it was winning wasn't dirty enough so it needs to be dirty Dan time so there you go. It ran triple. I'm not a big fan of upstarts, and I'll probably be willing to take these out because I don't really like giving my opponent a thousand life points. I get the idea of it, but you know, I'd rather just run more background, just one up you. <laughs> you know, instead of upping, instead of zeroing out, you know, they've just been going like, all right, upstart, draw a card, so that's a zero out, and give you a thousand life points. I'd rather just throw in like D prison and just be like, oh, you attack D prison. You know, so one one D prison for your one monster, we even out. So, you know, I don't know. Just not a big fan of upstart. Uh, Triple Nova, of course, that's a given. Triple Call of the Haunted, all right. Uh, you know, this deck doesn't run Oasis because no competitive deck was running Oasis. It was all about the Call of the Haunted. And I was like, okay, no Oasis? Fine. No, uh, I would probably prefer to put Oasis in. And, you know, I'm not sure if they will. I don't, I don't know. I didn't see any decks with, with Oasis, but Oasis and Call are pretty much the same thing. You're running all these continuous trap cards because you could just simply make Triv and then put it back. So... If you're going to run Call the Haunted, why not Oasis? It does the same thing, except in defense mode. So, I don't know. 
Triple Fiendish Chain, I get that. Triple Vanities, I get that. It's a Vanities, happy format, so why not? One Compulse on Warning, alright. Or this could be Bottomless, but uh, the deck I saw ran Compulse, and I was like, alright, but, you know. I think Bottomless is a little bit more predominant, especially with Cleaves, so probably Bottomless over Compulse. Uh, extra deck, one Rhapsody, staple, one Dweller, staple, uh, one 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 with the three cast all. I they were running things that I didn't really like, so I just kind of bumped cat. They were running like Gun Diva, and I'm just like, yeah, you know. And I was just like, you know what? I'm just gonna play cast all three. But I still like the one one one. You know, I was I was thinking about going two cast all one 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 just because one one it's you know the more defensive route. You know, it's kind of like the my stroke of the deck where he can do his job, but then also he can kind of be my stroke. One Omega, I have one. Uh, Dark Rebellion, Seas Dragon. I've been liking this guy a little bit more. You know, it kind of it kind of doesn't work with you, but you know, if I you know if I get like you and you, you know, then sure. You know, Exiton, Staple, uh, Emerald. So in, instead of running the uh, uh, oh my God, what's his name? Sirius. They they run uh, Dark Storm Emerald instead, which I can understand. You know, I was running Sirius and he really wasn't doing that much, so I can understand that. One of the Volvo Chain. Uh, you know, get your Deneb set up quicker. If you never get Deneb or anything to get your Deneb, hopefully you can go ahead and get Clean Tavala Train and get you set up with that. The Castells, you know, that's given. You know, Altair Deneb, search for another Altair XC and Castell, spin it back. You know, I can't attack, but get it out of my face, you know. And, uh, I went with two trips and two Deltaros. Uh, I'm not sure what the count on this is, what's the ratio on this, so if you guys want to go ahead and help me with that, then that would be great, because I was just threw two in, and I was like, two, two, and I was like, maybe that'll be fine. Alright, so, I hope that you guys uh, enjoyed this episode of Daily Duels. Like I said, go ahead and help me with this competitive version of this deck, because, really, like I said, I'm not going to make a competitive version of it in real life. I'm just going to make a fun version. So, uh, I'm just going to make it, and then you might see that deck in some live videos for fun. Alright, so, I hope that you guys enjoyed this uh, uh, episode of Daily Duels. So, thanks for watching, thanks for all support, and I will see you guys tomorrow with uh, Cleese. Yep, alright, thanks for watching.